So the main objective of PMED is really to, about the accuracy and the precision because the concept of PMED is really to bring all the necessary for a checkup into one device. So it's really important that the diagnosis is really accurate and precise so no one will have to really go to a doctor anymore and will be able to do a checkup at home. So I will be talking about the key steps for this project. First, we have the, um, the design. So we have a 3D design that was printed in, in the school. Uh, and also we have the technical part, which with uh, the Arduino boards, uh, the display screen that we'll put together to make this project work. Um, so the key steps are to find a way to write the codes for the Arduino board and the Arduino display and uh, also design with uh, Fusion, design the, our prototype so that we can use it and make this project work. The success criteria of our project is all about the accuracy. We want to make an accurate device so that people can rely on all the data they will get from the checkup. And since the doctor will have all the medical records, it will allow him to have a better follow-up of his patient. The potential risk is about the fact that we there's a Wi-Fi uh, there's a Wi-Fi included into payment, and uh, to make it accessible to everyone, uh, we have to really find a way to not have the Wi-Fi uh, feature into payment because there are people living in a rural a rural part of um, of the of Senegal, and so. We need to find a way so that they won't need Wi-Fi to connect because not everyone has Wi-Fi. Not and sometimes also Wi-Fi doesn't work. And if there's a really situation, a big tricky situation, if there's no Wi-Fi, how the person will be able to really to use PMED? So this is our main problem, our the, the biggest risk about about uh, PMED. And right now, uh, how we plan on taking care of it? is by maybe including a Bluetooth um, feature and maybe try to make it work with solar power. The resources needed to complete this project were an Arduino Giga R1 uh, and its Arduino display. So that's the screen that we used for our prototype and also a 3D printing device to be able to, to print our, our prototype and make it work. About the evaluation of our project, we want to compare a real-time checkup with a doctor and the checkup that we will get from PMED so that we can measure the accuracy of the data and the quality of our sensors. The partners and uh, the stakeholders of this project are um, DAOS and ERSF. So ERSF is a research lab that is, um, we have been working with them to make this project uh, work. And uh, they have an innovation lab with DAOs in partnership with DAOs. So they are the principal, uh, the main uh, stakeholders of this project, PMED. Uh, so the next step will be maybe to include artificial intelligence uh, because uh, I think artificial intelligence will really make it a big thing um, right now and also include more sensors because right now we only have uh, two sensors, uh, three one is two in one and so making uh, including more sensor will even more uh, will really make it a uh, checkup at home like why not bring a hospital at home actually so yeah that would be our next steps including more sen uh, more sensors and AI.